What's up guys? Welcome back to Halfman of Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, we now have watchOS 8.4, the release candidate version. If you have a supported device, this means that you can easily go into your system preferences and download this update. And as you can see here, watchOS 8.4 on my Apple Watch Series 7, the update size that it came in at is exactly 159 megabytes and i was already on watchOS 8.4 beta i believe i was coming from beta 1 so you can see the update size that you can expect when you go from a beta to the official the system sort of re-downloads the os since you're going from a beta to the official now let's quickly go ahead and update our device and then we'll be able to see what are the software changes as well as the new features and changes but obviously this is not all that apple released today it's in fact being a busy day when it comes to beta updates so today apple released the following updates and you can see they released mac os monterey 12.2 rc they also released ios 15.3 rc and they released ipad os 15.3 rc and they also released watch os 8.4 rc of course and finally tv os 15.3 3RC. So most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if that's something that interests you and you want to keep up to date with the latest updates, then a sub to the channel would really be appreciated. Now, my device has actually finished updating. So if we go into the settings and then go to general and go where it says uh, software update, you will see that your Apple Watch is up to date. And if we go to the about this one, section you can see the new build number that we finally have with this update and right here let me just go back my time had timed out and you can see the new build number that we have with this update it's 19s546 so that's the build number in terms of new features and new changes that came with this uh, watchOS 8.4 there actually isn't much in fact the update size didn't really change by much coming from the previous version if you get a small update size it usually means that there isn't a lot of changes or new watch faces or new memojis when it comes to what to expect in the os but there is a few changes and the first one that i would like to mention to you when it comes to a fix for watch os 8.4 is charging issues so if you have an apple watch series 7 be it the 45 or 41 millimeter this is the 45 the bigger screen there were people that were having a number of issues when it comes to charging their apple watch devices using third part chargers so if you had a third part pack charger like your sinker this is one from apple but for third party ones there were issues for specifically the apple watch series 7 whereby the device wouldn't actually charge unless you would power cycle the device and then after that the device would actually be able to charge and then after some time the same issue would appear but it seems like with watchOS 8.4 this issue has been resolved at least for the apple watch series 7 since those were the most affected versions or series of the apple watch so it's good that that has been addressed and also something else that has been addressed when it comes to watch os 8.4 has to do with the home app so you can see that i actually don't have like smart devices at home but if you do have smart devices like an intercom that you can hold and use your watch as a mic there were issues with that whereby if you were to interact with your devices sometimes the the fluidness of the home app would cause your watch you can see how it's basically moving like fluid and normal but when you would use like a device to be specific in the home app it would cause your watch fluidness to like sort of drop some frames in a sense if that makes sense so that has been fixed and also a bug that caused like some home port devices not to respond has been addressed for the iphone and the apple watch so that is something that is great with this update now i would like to bring your attention to the iphone right here because there have been some updates when it comes to child safety it's not exactly csam so 
you can see that here we have expanded protection for children and this is basically apple trying to make sure that those that you set up screen time for or if you're a parent or guardian and set up a device for your child be it an iphone or an apple watch you are able to keep them safe from nudity or explicit content and you can see that this is supported from watchOS 8.3 and later so there have been minor wording changes when it comes to child communication safety in messages that means that if you do set up a device for your child and then they receive some explicit content you'll be able to see simplified text and it's nothing major just minor wording changes and also when it comes to some other wording changes that have been made when it comes to this watch os 8.4 the first one has to do with the podcast app so if you listen to a lot of podcasts there have been minor wording change you won't see new screens or so on or new episodes you basically see the same but behind the os there's just been some minor wording change within the podcast app and that is something that's good it just goes to make things simpler for those that develop and also something else that has been updated with this app has to do with the news app so this is the news app that i'm talking about there were issues whereby some people who would actually favorite some of the articles and set them to a specific location they wouldn't be able to find them and also for some people like you seeing headlines would sometimes not show the total number and it seems like for me that issue isn't something that is here and i didn't actually experience it on the beta one or beta two but you can see that i can see articles for five or five rather instead of just seeing one and not seeing the rest so that has been fixed for the news app and that is something that's good for for this update and also you know for an 8.4 so this is a 0.4 update usually when we're getting to like 0 0.4 0 0.5 we expect you know some some things that are new like new watch faces or at least some new emojis or even some new settings menus that are to be added but it seems like apple is sort of keeping it low key when it comes to this watch os 8 and as you can see with the 0.4 update there really isn't much that has been addressed in fact if we were to go to the release notes of watchOS 8.4 and go to see the release notes right here you'll be able to see that you know there are no new release notes for this update or this software update rather and this just goes to show you that there isn't much that changed with this watchOS 8.4 and in terms of when to expect this update to be released officially to the public now last year when it comes to watchOS 7.3 now I'm referencing watchOS 7.3 because this year we skipped one point update so we went from 8.1 to 8.3 so last year when it comes to watch os 8.3 it was released on the 27th of january last year so this year you can see that the 27th or at least the range of the 27th falls into next week so sometime between the 25th to the 27th that's when i expect this watch os 8.4 to be released to the general public and that means that if you have a supported device like i do here you be able to simply go into your settings and then go to your software update and update to watch os 8.4 so hopefully if you were experiencing some of the issues that are addressed with this update you'll be able to enjoy the watch os 8.4 software update and other than that this is how it's been for me on my apple watch performance wise i can't really complain and when it comes to like battery i actually haven't been using it so much i've been trying to see what is new in different settings but battery wise you can see that i actually last charged it to about 98 percent 30 minutes ago so i really haven't been using it and the battery health or the maximum health capacity hasn't changed from the time i updated so so far we're keeping a good track record of 100 percent which is something good and this is how this watch os 8.4 has been on my apple watch series 7 let me know what else to test for if you're experiencing specific issues for your device then i'll be able to maybe try and see on my device how to resolve that and as always thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed remember to subscribe and and keep up to date stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace